Happy back to school. I can't believe I'm saying back to school. Where has summer gone? It's gone way too fast, but like it or not, we are all getting ready for back to school. I am Lynn Lilly, DIY and craft expert from Craftbox Girls and Craftbox Kids, and I'm excited to bring you another fun and easy craft for the kiddos, and this one is for back to school. Now, this can be for teachers. You can help make these for your students. They can make them themselves, or you could do this as an at-home activity, parents. You can kind of celebrate the first day of school and then see how your child has changed and progressed to the last day of school. All right, my daughter, Lily, is starting kindergarten this year, so it's a big deal for back to school this year. So we're excited to see her soar. I'm also a little sad afraid I'm gonna cry, but that's a combo for another time. But let's get started on today's craft. So we're gonna be making these really cute Apple notebooks. I love making notebooks that are different shaped for kids because I think it's really neat. Kids love notebooks. My kids go through a gazillion notebooks. They wanna draw them and put stickers in on them. So this is a fun craft to do in all different shapes. But this notebook is special because it is going to be for the first and the last day of school. All right, so to get started, we're gonna need a couple things. We're gonna need some construction paper. So we've got some red, brown, yellow, and green. We're gonna need some glue. So we've got our Crayola glue stick and our washable glue. We're gonna need scissors, pencil, and we're gonna need some markers. I've got my Silly Sense here. I'm just gonna use the black out of here, but you can use a whole bunch of different colors. And then I also have a cup of the Take Note Crayola um, gel pens, which I absolutely love, and they're washable. That's the pack they came in. These are great for all kinds of doodling for the kids, especially if you've got a daughter like mine, I said she's going to kindergarten, she's starting to want to draw and doodle more with markers and pens. So these are a great option for that. All right, so to start, we want to make two apple shapes on our red construction paper. So I already have one cut out ahead of time. Um, and this almost looks like a tooth, right? So you can make your shape, um, or it could look like the top of the heart, right? But it's a very simple shape. Your apple doesn't have to be perfect. The thing that we wanna have the kids do is draw one, cut it out, and then trace the second one. Because we want them to be the exact same. So we're gonna use our pencil, and we're gonna trace all the way around. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then we're going to take our scissor and we're going to cut it out. Now, it's important that we have two apples that are the exact same size. What we also need for our notebook is white paper on the inside. Now, you can use white construction paper or if you want to use um, notebook paper, you could use that as well. So you could cut some notebook paper um, you could use regular white printer paper as well. It doesn't have to be fancy, right? Whatever you've got at home um, or in the classroom will work. Okay, so what you wanna do then is take whatever you decide to use as your filler paper, okay? We can put this aside so you guys can see it. Whatever you decide to use for your filler paper, I've got white construction paper. You again wanna take what we just used, what we either cut out or what we used to trace, and we want to trace it and cut out those white sheets on it so that our inside paper matches up with our front and our back cover, okay? Just like that, so we've made a nice little sandwich back cover, inside sheets, and our front cover. And you can choose how many pages you wanna put in. I'll show you my final and kind of what I have inside of it, and that may help you decide. All right, now, we've gotta keep this guy together. So one thing that I didn't mention in the beginning that we need, because parents, this is what you need, is a stapler. All right, so it's gonna be our parent or our teacher job um, to staple this. So teachers, this could be a fun first day, first week um, craft for the kiddos to do. All right, so we're just gonna put one little staple right there at the top. Okay, stapled all the way through. That is our binding for our notebook. Now, for our apple, we need some leaves and a stem. So I'm gonna take my brown and I'm just gonna draw a little stem shape there. All right, and we'll cut that out. And then we're also going to draw some leaves. Parents, if you're doing this at home, um, this doesn't have to just be the beginning and the end of the year. You can kind of have 
different sections throughout the year to kind of get a really fun idea of how your child is changing, progressing. Um, it's really fun to look back. Um, my daughter was in pre-K last year and her pre-K teachers did a really great job of keeping a journal. Um, and they did kind of the same things at, you know, the beginning, end, and midway points through the year. And it was really neat to see how Lily's handwriting got better, um, how her drawing got better, you know, what she liked at different points in the years. All right. Now, we've got our stem and our leaves. So I'm gonna use my washable liquid glue here for this. And I'm gonna just add a little dab right there because I am putting it over the um, staple. That's why I'm using the liquid glue just because it's not a straight flat surface. And then you can use your liquid glue for your leaves or you can use your glue stick. And I just got a little bit on my apple, but the great part about this glue stick is even though it's blue, it dries clear. So we won't even see that once it's dry. All right. Now, your kids can decorate the cover however they want. So I've got some stuff already cut out. You wanna keep it simple, right? So you could cut out little circles like I did here, and we're gonna make a little worm, right? Because sometimes worms eat apples. We know that. And then we're gonna do, where did I just put my green? We'll make some little antennas for our worm. And this is an easy shape to cut out. We are just gonna cut a little shape like a V, right? Just like that. And then we'll cut into our V. So we'll cut another V out of the inside. And we now have antennas for our little worm. Okay, we'll use our glue stick and we're gonna glue those on and you wanna overlap them. And you'll notice my circles aren't perfect. You can pick something to trace. If you've got something circular, you could even use the bottom of this glue stick here. It gives you a nice circle. Um, or let the kiddos try and cut out their own circles. Good practice, right? Draw on shapes. All right, so our little worm is gonna be inching up our apple. And then we're gonna put the glue on the back of this and we're gonna take our antennas and we're gonna put our antennas right on the back. Okay, just like that. All right, we've got a nice little worm there. And then I am going to take my Silly Scent Markers and I'm gonna get out my, oh, I already have it out, my black one, which smells like marshmallows, which is a fun reminder of summer, right? Okay, so we're gonna just draw a little face. Da -da 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 -da. And we'll give our worm some legs. Some little legs right there. Okay, and then I have a little cloud bubble here. You can draw directly on the apple. I cut out a cloud bubble on the white construction paper that I had left over after cutting the inside parts out. Um, I wanted a nice clear place to write the child's name on the front. Okay, just like that. All right, now here is where our washable gel pens come in handy because they write really nicely. Okay, so we've got these here and we can write my name is, right? So maybe we'll use green and you'll see they come with like a little dot of glue on the end, which is nice. Um, and then I just make sure we're working over there. All right, so we'll write my name as in this is great practice writing for the kids or teachers if your kids are younger, you can write this part and then let them practice writing their name. You can write whatever grade they're going into. So maybe it is first grade. Right? You could also put dates on there if you'd like. Um, let them fill in their name. We'll say that this is for Sarah. We'll just say a Sarah is going to first grade. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some fun options for the inside and this is where kind of the journaling comes in from beginning, middle, and however you wanna do it. But here's some prompts for some ideas on how to use your notebook. Okay, so you can see I've got this one here. So we've got two. You can see how cute these are. Um, and your kids can choose to do the apple in whatever color they want to, so they don't have to follow this exactly. Um, let their creativity shine through. All right, so maybe on the first page you do name, you do first day of school, they could write the date there. And then um, we have them draw a self-portrait. I think it's really great to see um, how they see themselves and how they draw, right? Then you've got a second page that's my favorite. So food, sport, color, animal, book, you can add in whatever you need to on there. 
And then what I love to do, they can either write words, they could write a paragraph about it, or they could draw pictures, right? Then teachers, parents, you keep that notebook, right? You give it back to them when it's either the end or whatever point you choose in the year if you want to do a mid-year checkup. And do the same thing over again. So we write last day of school, name, have them do a self-portrait, and have them fill out all those same things again. And then it's really fun to look at the difference um, from beginning to end. All right, easy, peasy, fun, back to school craft. Teachers, parents, I hope I inspired you, give you a little ideas. Take this idea, run with it, change it. You can make any shapes you want. Um, but I don't know, I guess a fun little way to see how your kids do throughout the year. All right, so as a reminder, you can always head to Crayola.com slash crafts for more fun craft ideas. You can also check inventory of your local craft stores there as well. And be sure to follow me at Craftbox Girls and at Craftbox Kids for more fun kids crafts. All right, friends, wishing you an absolutely amazing back to school. Wish me luck. Kindergarten. Oh, I'm so nervous. Ah. And my little Bella is starting threes for preschool. So all the emotions. Wish me luck. You'll have to follow me over on Instagram to see how it goes. All right, friends, I'll be back in a few weeks with another fun kids craft. Bye.